Dr Peterson, good to have you on the program. Thank you very much. With the popularity of your book and your YouTube lectures, you're obviously tapping into something that nobody else is tapping into at the moment. What is that? It's, it's, partly, it's partly responsibility. I don't think that people have talked to young people about responsibility in any real sense. Not in, not, and been on their side at the same time for like 50 years. And that's just too long because most people find the meaning in their life through responsibility. The answer in some sense to the tragedy of life, to the catastrophe of life, to the fall, is to adopt the responsibility of mortality that goes along with that and to play that game maximally. And paradoxically, it's in the willingness to do that that the solution emerges. There's a sacrificial element in maturation. Right, you have to sacrifice the pluripotentiality of childhood for the actuality of a frame. And the question is, well, why would you do that? Well, one reason is, it happens to you whether you do it or not. You can either choose your damn limitation, or you can let it take you unaware when you're 30, or even worse, when you're 40. And then, that is not a happy day. When you're 25, you can be an idiot. It's no problem. That's what young people are like, but they're full of potential. Okay, well, now you're the same person at 30. It's like people aren't so thrilled about you at that point. It's like, what the hell have you been doing for the last 10 years? Well, I'm just as clueless as I was when I was 22. It's, yeah, but you're not 22. You're an old infant, right? And that's an ugly thing, an old infant. So, the, the re part of the reason you choose your damn sacrifice, because the sacrifice is inevitable, but at least you get to choose it. And then there's something that's, that's even more complex than that in some sense is that the problem with being a child is that all you are is potential, and it's really low resolution. You could be anything, but you're not anything. So then you go and you adopt an apprenticeship, roughly speaking, and then you become, at least you become something. And when you're something, that makes the world open up to you again. You know, like if you're a really good plumber, then you end up being far more than a plumber. You know, if you're a really good plumber, well then you have some employees, you run a business, you, you train some other people, you enlarge their lives, you're kind of a pillar of the community, you, you have your family. It's, you can, once you pass through that narrow training period, which narrows you and constricts you and develops you at the same time, then you can come out the other end with a bunch of new possibility at, hell, at hand. And Jung talked about that, he thought that the proper part of the proper path of development in the last half of life was to rediscover the child that you left behind as you were apprenticing. And so then you get to be something and regain that potential at the same time. Responsibility is what gives your life meaning. And so then you might say, well, then take on ultimate responsibility. And what happens? You have an ultimately meaningful life. And then you might say, well, if your life is ultimately meaningful, it doesn't matter if it's punctuated by tragedy or even predicated on tragedy. It's worth it. Yeah, life's rough, no doubt about it. And if good luck comes your way, then you should be grateful for it. And if happiness manages to manifest itself, you should be grateful for that too. But how do you give a personal responsibility message while taking account that for some people it's harder to take personal responsibility and the deck is stacked against them? Well, I think the deck is stacked against everyone to some degree because life is very difficult and we all die. But people, some people do have it harder than others. And, and all of us have it very hard at some times in our lives. It's like, well, what's the... What's the alternative? You take responsibility for that and try to struggle uphill because the alternative makes everything worse. 
It's not like it's fair. I know perfectly well that people have brutal lives. I've been a psychotherapist for 20 years. I've seen things you can't imagine, horror shows that you can't fathom, and people who have been hurt in so many ways, so many dimensions. It's like, bitter? Should they be bitter? Should they be resentful? Should they become violent? These things don't help. They have to struggle uphill despite their excess burden. And it's, it's responsibility, not guilt. You know, it's not necessarily their fault. That's not the point. 